Good afternoon. It's uh, Jeremy. It's Friday, July the 29th. And today I want to look at uh, receiving the Inmars, Inmarsat satellite on the RTL-SDR. Uh, the past couple of months I've been working in the L-band frequency range. Um, I was receiving GOES signals at around 1694 for uh, uh, satellite weather. And recently I was uh, looking at the hydrogen line at 1420 megahertz. So... Um, I got kind of hooked on the L band and looking into space, so I was wondering what else I could receive uh, in the L band frequency range. So I thought of Inmarsat, and Inmarsat is a satellite, a geostationary satellite network used to communicate with uh, ships and planes, and also, I guess, for um, basically remote locations where there is no cell service. So I didn't know all that much about Inmarsat. I know they have a BGAN service. And the BGAN service competes against HF radio, which is kind of my interest. Uh, but I looked at the uh, Inmarsat Wiki, Wikipedia page, and there's all sorts of information there. And they also have a list of the uh, various satellites, the various generations. And I guess it's just the three series and the four series that have the L, uh, L band transponders. I also looked at um, N2YO. N2YO is, is a great site. I used it for the, um, the NOAA weather uh, tracking satellites. So it's got all the latest information. So all the NMAR satellites are there. You can click on each one um, to get the actual details. So here's my blog post. And um, there's a drawing I use for celestial navigation uh, and the celestial triangle to solve for the various parameters of the satellite from your location, for instance, the azimuth and the elevation. And I put together a little map there. These, based on what I read in Wikipedia, and I double-checked against N2YO, those are the L-band transponders going um, east to west here. We have 3F3, 4F2, 4F1, 4F3, and 3F5. These two are the ones that I can see from my location. These other ones here are in the Pacific and African areas. So these are the two ones that I can see. So those are the details that I've got from the various web pages. So um, this one here I can see from my uh, location. It's at 54 degrees west. And the other one I can see from my vacation location is this one at 98 degrees west. And here's, uh, here are the two drawings I used to solve for the parameters. And I use PsychoSlab. So those are the solutions for those two satellites. And this is a list of the uh, equipment that I have so far for L-band. I've got an LNA for the hydrogen line at 1420. I have an LNA now for Inmarsat. I bought one uh, just in case. I couldn't use the other stuff. I got a GPS patch antenna that works at 1575.42. It's a very narrow band. I think it's only about 6 megahertz in, in width. I've got an LNA for GO-16. I got my uh, L-band parabolic dish, and I also got a patch antenna, although it seems to be a little bit narrow here. I'm not too sure. I'm, I haven't really used it extensively. I did sweep the uh, LNA. Uh, I just attached it to my spectrum analyzer with a whip antenna, just using noise as the sweep signal. So there's the band pass. It looks like it goes from 1500 to 1600, and the center's around 1542. And I shot a quick little video, um, which I'm going to attach after this, down at Harbor Front, just showing you the equipment. So this is just a planning document, and the next couple of videos we'll look at if we can find the signals um, and see what they represent. Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, July the 29th, and I'm just down at my favorite spot here, train spotting at Toronto Harbor Front. And today, uh, I'm trying to receive Inmarsat signals. So what I've got here is I've got a L-band uh, patch antenna. It's connected to a small coax jumper into uh, an Inmarsat LNA BPF. And there's an RTL with a bias tape powering um, the LNA. And I'm just looking at the L-band frequency spectrum here on SDR Sharp. The two satellites that I can see from my location, the Inmar satellites, would be at um, 206 degrees and uh, 146 degrees. So 
206 is about over there and 146 is about over here. So just as a compromise, I've pointed the patch antenna pretty well to south. So um, we'll go over to um, Camtasia to see what we're seeing uh, as I tune the L band.